What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and the other day I was cleaning up my room just going through a bunch of old cards and I happened to stumble upon this tin over here where essentially it looks like there's a ton of old school cards in it. This thing looks super old school. You guys can even see all the dust and stuff on it but I want to find out what's inside. And so in this tin right here I have what I'm going to assume is a lot of childhood cards that I had from way back in the day. I don't know what's in here but I'm excited to find out. Now if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one now i don't typically do these kinds of videos it's not every day that i come by an old school time capsule like this one who knows what could be inside so with that i'm ready to get right into opening this up and finding out what's inside so right off the bat before i even open this tin up first of all you guys can tell i think this tin is from like 2002 or something like that i don't know which one this is to be honest with you this is yeah one of the collector's tins but you guys can tell it's dusty like my fingers have dust and stuff all over them and i see a penguin soldier on top which i think is a super rare so i know there's at least a super rare in here i probably just opened a bunch of loose booster packs and maybe a few structure decks when i was younger i know i opened packs up to like early 5ds era Ooh, okay it is a penguin soldier super rare oh it's first edition as well okay and it's in a bag maybe these are where my hollow cards are you know what i'll do i'll put this to the side and i'll open this up later i'm not sure what's in here we can go through what's in here first i can already assume it's just gonna be a bunch of bulk or if there is cards it might be damaged let's get right into it we'll just go pile by pile and then we'll go through this bag later because i mean i see a foil in here and i wonder if when i was younger i was like okay these are my really good cards so let's put them in a ziploc bag like bro i have a ziploc bag i don't even know how old the ziploc bag is okay so let's go this through this first stack over here i'll put the tin over here uh we have a moisture creature okay the thing that i'm liking right off the bat is these are a lot of first edition cards so this is pgd for pharaonic guardian i think it is and uh yeah that's kind of crazy i mean it's definitely not in the greatest condition we have a last will this is structure deck yugi this is this another structure deck first edition yeah so i figured it's going to be a lot of structure decks this is structure deck yugi as well reload i think it's just going to be a lot of structure deck stuff nothing here looks like it's in great condition ultimate offering this card's banned hero emerges yep ioc this card is really really cool i mean obviously this was pre-gx era but then Jaden used it so it became like one of my favorite cards when i was younger uh, just the fact that you can summon anything with this is, is really crazy. Uh, we have another SDY and Satu. I don't even remember half of these cards. Dark Titan of Terror. I definitely remember this one. So this is SDK. If you guys remember, these are the, the original SDK prints, not the Structure Deck Evolution because they did reprint some of the old school Structure Decks. These are the original prints. Not all of them are first edition. Actually, so fun fact, let me teach you guys this. So if you guys see MRD and then you guys see EN062, EN or like any letter before the number essentially is I think what's considered it to be the worldwide edition which is the second print or the third print technically so the first print would be first edition the second print would be the unlimited edition with no letters in the front and then the third print would be like the en and then there's four fifths etc etc but this would be the second print of mrd which is really cool super old school here germ infection as well oh we have a kazi Jin. oh it's a super oh look at it though oh no look at it oh all these cards are falling no let's not let's not let's not let's not yeah these are this is so crazy oh bro look at this dent on it though what did i do to this when i was younger man oh okay it's not first edition it is a cool super rare however uh yeah this goes all the way through the back oh you guys can see that like crazy oh no what did i do to this card okay i mean there's a super rare in here there's something kind of cool i'll keep that over here um that's exciting actually i'm surprised it's not just all bulk i'll go through this a little bit faster maybe stop at like some of the cooler cards i mean we've got pumpkin king over here guardian uh, these seem to be all unlimited edition. Yeah, I want to see if there's any really cool first edition cards. So this is first edition uh, commencement dance. MRL, Magic Ruler. This is before they changed it to Spell Ruler. So uh, even this one, it's unlimited, but it's still Magic Ruler, which is really cool. Flying Comic Kiri number one. Okay, this card is pretty cool. This is a recruiter uh, that can be used in GOAT format and other formats. I'm going to put this off to the side as well. Pretty decent card over there. Blast Struggler, MRD first edition. There you go. So this is another first edition card over here. I, think I just think that's so cool. Oh, that's not even bad condition. Like... It's not the best. You guys can definitely see there's whitening on the sides, but it's not even the worst. Uh, it's bent over here as well. Never mind. I take it back. All right, we got Witty Phantom. Let's see if we can go through this a little bit fit faster. But there is another MRD first edition. So I definitely opened a lot of MRD, I guess, when I was younger. Mostly MRD. I feel like PSV as well is pretty cool here. This card's pretty damaged, though. I feel like I opened a lot of GX stuff, though. I haven't seen much of the GX stuff. This is LO1, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Just Desserts, absolutely beat up. We got Sorcerer of the Doomed, the Rock Spirit. This card's pretty cool. Rogue Doll. 
final countdown. Okay, so it looks like it's just going to be a lot of bulk over here. I don't want to waste too much of you guys' time with this bulk. Although it is kind of cool to see all these old school cards still. Like, I, I don't even remember this. Like, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> like, I don't remember having these cards. Reinforcements is cool. Dragon Capture Shikari. Oh, Dream Clown, MRD First Edition. Okay, so obviously I opened a lot of MRD First Edition. This is, oh, Force of the Breaker. Okay, so this, we're back into the GX era, which is kind of cool, which is my favorite era. That's kind of like the era that really got me into playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but keep in mind at that time, oh, this card's MRD First as well, but... Oh, this is also bent like the Kazi Jin. I wonder if something happened to these cards and they're kind of all bent the same way. GX definitely is what got me into Yu-Gi-Oh. I think at that time though, you could still find like MRD and old school packs, um, even in the GX era, if you go to Walmart or we used to have Zellers there. Um, and I used to pick up cards from there. This is another MRD first. Uh, so yeah, clearly like I used to just pick up a bunch of old school stuff and man, I wish I kept like took better care of these because that would have been really cool. Sogen, Karate Man. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything going to be crazy in here. Uh, oh, Fluta Summoning Dragon from SDK. Although it does have... Uh, oh, I thought this was a super rare. Oh my god, I thought that was LOB for a second. All right, well, we do have a super rare over here. Um, looks like it has the same exact creases as Kazijin. So I must have done something to these cards to bend them the exact same way. I don't know what it was, but uh, definitely interesting. We have Fissure, which was a pretty cool card back in the day as well. Okay, so let's put these over to the side. That was our first pack over here. Or first pile, I should say. We got two hollows. I'll put the fine camera carry away. We got two hollows out of that, which is pretty cool. I'm kind of excited for what's in this now okay let's go a little bit faster now though i know you guys can kind of see what the point is now and i don't want to take up too much of you guys' time let's go through these see if we can find some more hollows this is a mrl first edition which is still kind of cool it's still really cool to find these uh old school cards kelbeck is pretty cool uh keldo is pretty cool oh retro pack 2 when did i open retro pack 2 as a kid i don't even remember when retro pack 2 came out yo Please tell me there's Retro Pack 2 hollows in here. That'd be insane. If you guys don't know, Retro Pack is an insanely like hard product to find. And oh my god. This is all Retro Pack. Okay, we're out of Retro Pack here. These don't look like they're actually in back in the I mean they're they're clearly um they're warped. That's crazy. When did I open Retro Pack 2? When did that come out? Okay. Uh we got Claw Reacher over here. Scroll. Okay, let's see if we can go through this a little bit faster. Bickery box, that's kind of funny. Illusionist face magician. Cool that they made an illusionist type now, actually, for Yu-Gi-Oh!, which is kind of it's funny actually. Because I guess it is supposed to be based off of the Pegasus stuff, but whatever. I don't know. I don't see anything too cool here. We have seven tools of the bandit, which is actually not a bad card. Silver Fang. I remember playing with this card so much when I was younger. I don't even know why. It wasn't even a great card or anything. Komori Dragon over here. One of my favorite cards actually growing up as well. I just thought it was so cool. Uh, Dragon Piper, first edition. I don't know, man. These cards are kind of cool to look into. Like for me, this is very much a, very much a nostalgia trip. Oh my God, look at this giant trunade. What happened to the giant trunade? Very much a nostalgia trip over here. I'm sure it is for you guys as well, but it's so crazy to know that I owned a lot of these cards. I also didn't know this was a common instruction deck Yugi. All right, well, we got the Hungry Burger, which actually just got reprinted as a collector's rare, funny enough. It's not first edition, though. Uh, Unfriendly Amazon, Jellyfish, Flame Manipulator. The shout out Joey, right? This is a Joey card. Dragon Zombie. Okay, so nothing too crazy here. I don't see anything too... Oh, PSV first edition, Bombardment Beetle. That's cool. I like seeing the first edition stuff. Maybe it's just me. Hitotsi Mi Giant. Oh, okay. Structure deck Pegasus. Oh, this is, this is, this is gone. What is this? All right, well, that's the second pile out of the way. Let's move this away. And then we got one more pile and then we go into our Ziploc bag. So I'm gonna move this to the side. Let's go through our last pile over here. Real quick, Thousand Needles. Okay, Bubonic Vermins, uh, Invitation, Gale Lizard. Okay, interesting, Mirage Dragon, Four Star Lady. Oh, I remember this card was pretty good. Flip, destroy all face up level four monsters. Okay, I remember using this card when I was younger. I don't know why, I thought it was cool. We didn't play with too much tribute summoning back in the day i mean i also didn't play real like really good Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day so it was kind of just whatever i could summon whatever had the biggest attack and whatnot so i thought that was pretty cool beaver warrior toon summon skull whip tail crow okay so nothing too crazy i think we hit all the good stuff already we have a first edition element valkyrie and uh funny enough oh this is first edition psv kind of cool there's not as much gx stuff as i thought okay so there's harpy's brother so if you guys don't know i think this card got changed to sky sky warrior it changed, they changed the name for this card. It's no longer Harpy's Brother, but in the first edition PSV print, of course, and the original PSV prints, it was called Harpy's Brother, which is kind of cool. Man Eater Bug over here. Okay, there's nothing too crazy. We got some FOTB, which is kind of nice. This card got censored in the TCG. I remember that. Uh, we got uh, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, Hungry Burger again. We got a Sonic Bird that I took a bite out of, apparently, or something like that. I don't know what the heck that is. Okay, so nothing super crazy here. I feel like I remember this card. I don't know what it was. I, I feel like I remember that. Electric Snake, Time Wizard. 
Pet and okay, so nothing too crazy here, I don't think, either. This guy's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. I must have seen it, I guess, but uh, nothing that I remember. Okay, so I think that's it for these. Yeah, there's nothing else too crazy in there. Okay, so finally now, sorry for taking up so much of your time. Let's get into this, because this is what I'm going to hopefully assume has a bunch of like hollows and higher rarity stuff. I mean, by higher rarity, who knows what I can expect, honestly. It's probably just super rares. But we do have a super rare right off the bat. So Penguin Soldier. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it was just a deck that I put together. Did I put together a random deck and then just, I don't know, put it in a bag? We have Divine Dragon Ragnarok, Book of Life. Oh, Thousand Eyes Restrict. This is from, oh, what, what's it called? Master Collection? Oh, that's insane. That's a secret rare. Oh, I'm a Suijin. Super rare. Okay, this one is much better condition than that Kazi Jin, but let's take a look at this Thousand Eyes. Oh my god, this is such a pretty card. Secret. Oh, look at this condition. It's not like near mint, near mint. I mean, you guys can definitely tell there's a little bit of edge wear and stuff, and right here on the bottom as well, but dang, that's sick. I could put that into Goat, funny enough. I can actually put that into one of my decks now. Uh, we got the Sui Jin here as well, super rare. Not first edition. I wish it was, but uh, it's okay. The condition doesn't look too bad. Definitely much better than that Cosigen's condition. That's that's insane right there. Okay, we got a Vampire Lord. Metamorphosis. I'm pretty sure this is like a $5 common. And it's, and it's first edition. Okay, we got a common first edition Metamorphosis. I know it doesn't sound crazy, but that card I don't think has ever been reprinted. We got Pot of Greed here, Snatch Steel. Oh, a bunch of cool goat cards right over here. That's nice. This is nice to have, honestly. This is nice to just keep and just have on you because you never know when you could use it, which is crazy. We got Spirit Reaper. I kind of want to go slower now. I'm shaking, like, because I don't know what to expect here. We got Magic Jammer, Torrential Tribute. <laughs> Exodia, the Forbidden One! Oh, oh, do we have the whole set of six? Oh, there's six of these in here. Oh, we have the Thousand Eyes. We have the Exodia. There's, what is it? Bail Dragon, BLS. Oh, I can't remember off them off the top of my head. Oh, we have an Exodia, though. Secret Rare. And we got a Rio Senshi. This is another cool goat card, super rare. I mean, this one is completely beat up, though. But this Exodia, I mean, this, okay, I'll be honest, Exodia is not in great condition either. But for what it is, I mean, okay, not the greatest condition. But the fact that I had this is pretty cool. We got a Rio Senshi here as well. Again, beat up, but for goat format, oh my god, you guys see that? You guys see that? Yeah. Uh, this that's not great but for goat format these are pretty relevant i mean we got dust tornado pyramid turtle another good goat format card we got two of them compulse is really nice avion here is really cool as well oh my god we have the relinquished oh please tell me we have all six please tell me we have all six that would be so cool if we have the entire set here this relinquished though is a lot more beat up than the other ones you guys can see there's definitely dents here at the bottom and whatnot doesn't look too great but i mean we have a secret right that's kind of crazy okay i was right i think this uh ziploc bag over here had some of the best oh i see something else i see something else i saw something else i don't know if you guys saw that okay let's go slow we got balloon lizard element doom and oh, okay. I thought I thought this was gonna be way better. Okay, Kaiser Seahorse. This is from uh, Evo so this is the reprint of the structure deck. So structure deck Kaiba Evolution is that what it's called? It's kind of cool, ultra rare. Cyber Twin Dragon Super Rare First Edition. That's cool. That's cool. I like this. Okay, so again, this is a GX era stuff that I love, that I fell in love with. I wish this was ulti, though. If this was ulti, that'd be crazy. There's no shot, by the way, we get an ulti in here. Like, I don't think there's going to be ultis. The secret rares aren't even secrets that you pull. Like, secret, those secret rares that we saw are, like, guaranteed from the set, right? So, uh, I don't think we're going to have anything super high value. Again, if you guys see, it's mostly just super rares outside of the secret rares that are guaranteed, right? Vampire Genesis over here. This is from the structure deck. Uh, that's a cool ultra rare. Blackluster Soldier here is actually pretty cool from structure deck as well. Another super rare. Uh, I feel like we put another ultra rare somewhere here. It was Kaiser Seahorse? Yeah, it was Kaiser Seahorse. Let's put it over here. We got Salvage. Oh my god, what else are we gonna find? We still have a pretty big stack here. I don't know what we're gonna find. All right, so we got Regenerating Mummy. Versinatrix, first edition. Lost Millennium, that's cool. We got Final Ritual. Dark Ruler Hades. Okay, Master Collection 1. So we got one, two, three, and now four. Four of the six. I think the other two are Black Luster Soldier and Barrel Dragon. I think that's what they are. Envoy of the Beginning and Barrel Dragon. Dark Ruler Hades is here. Okay. Please, please have Blockbuster Soldier. That'd be so cool if we had all six. We got Teva. Oh, this is a super rare. Finhan Mirror. Ryo Koki over here. We got Mary the Fallen One. This is a rare. We have. Oh, 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 this is an ulti. Oh my god, this is first edition. Gaia's Soul. Okay, it's not the greatest ulti, but we have an ultimate rare first edition Gaia Soul. Flashback. There's no shot, by the way, we get an ulti in here. End of flashback. This is so cool. 
Oh my god, this was just sitting in a Ziploc bag? I don't think it's very valuable or anything, but I think this is insane. That's sick, we have an ultimate rare. Yo, okay, now I'm excited. What else do we have in here? I gotta find out what else we got in here. Dissolve Rock, Reload, Call, okay. I feel like I'm opening a booster pack right now. I feel like I'm opening a booster pack just because it's like, it's, it's from a Ziploc bag that I don't know what could be inside. We got one eyed oh, this is kind of nasty. I don't know what's on that one. We got uh, Bari Ushoni, Rite of Spirit, Shifting Shadows, Monk Fighter, Despair, okay. So it slowed down a little bit here. But we still have the potential for the Master Collection cards, right? Because uh, we had four of the six. See if we can get all six. Dummy Golem. We have, oh, another super rare, Behemoth, King of All Animals. That's pretty cool. I like that one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a pretty good amount of super rares uh, we pulled. We have Guardian Statue, Double Costin, Moki Moki, and I think that's it. Oh, that's it. Okay. Dang, that was crazy. I was not expect. I mean, I was hoping for cool stuff, like from when we were like when I was younger and stuff. But dang, the Exodia and the Thousand Eyes have to be my two favorite cards that we pulled. These are so cool. I, I mean, I say we pulled as if like this wasn't like from this was from a pack. It's not from a pack, but. This is insane. Exodia and Thousand Eyes from Master to Collection 1. These are going to my collection. I'll be honest with you. This is going to my GOAT and this is going to my collection for sure. These are pretty crazy. And the fact that I have an ultimate rare over here, Gaia Soul. I can't believe this is the ulti that I pulled though. I feel like RDS, RDS is also the same one with the Koichi. Oh man, imagine we pulled the Koichi. That would have been cool. Dang, man. That was insane. That was a crazy trip through nostalgia. Like I think that was a saying, a crazy trip through nostalgia. Nostalgia Lane. I don't know, but that was so fun. That was so epic. I can't believe I had all these cards when I was a kid and they were just sitting around for who knows how many years at this point, maybe 10, maybe 15 years, which is absolutely crazy. I have nothing else to say. I'm kind of lost for words if I'm going to be honest with you, but if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. I don't know. I'm really at a loss for words. This is cool. I've really never done a video like this. I like this time capsule stuff because I feel like you never know what you're going to get. I get to add a lot of cool things to my collection now and uh, just a bunch of cool things things that I never knew I had. Plus I have a bunch of cool comments now that I can use for GOAT format and like other formats, which is kind of fun actually. This is good bulk, this is good bulk. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you with that spank of side and out. Peace.